Hey guys, welcome to this online Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I would like to show you how we can build a simple application using an if statement, a condition statement. So before going to the building of the application, we shall say we shall have some brief idea about the if statement. An if statement is used as a form of conditional programming, something you probably do every day in the real world. That is, you need to decide whether you are going to have tea or coffee. In each, in, in this case, you are making a choice, usually based on some information, such as I had coffee yesterday, so I'll have tea today. So the situation may vary. In Python, such choices are represented programmatically by the if condition statement. In this construct, if some condition is true, some action is performed. So the syntax for if statement is if some condition, and if this condition is true, I, we need to do some operation. And there is another version of if statement if the condition is true we need to do one operation and if it is not true we need to do other operation if there are if there are many conditions if in some cases there may be several conditions you want to test with each condition being tested if the previous one failed then uh, something called l if statement will come to come to our rescue so the L, the else if statements that we disk that we know from c or other programs the else if statements is supported in python by l if statements so in this tutorial i would like to build an application using this l if statements so let us bring let us build a very simple application and we call it as a simple calculator In this simple calculator, we shall try to do four operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. The beauty of programming is it teaches you to think and in a good programmer will take the big problem, one big problem it takes and it divides into fragments and it takes each fragments one at a time, programs it neatly then he connect reconnects it to form a whole module this is what a programmer does and this is one of the reasons why i like programming now let us break this problem building up of simple character into fragments or let us write uh, let us have a brief idea uh, if i write a flowchart then it becomes very simple for us to visualize how we can proceed through writing the program for a simple character First, let us give the choice for the user. One is addition, two is subtraction, three is multiplication, fourth is division, and fifth we shall exit from the program. Now we shall ask the user, ask the user to enter to enter his choice, to enter his or our choice. Now, we should check whether the number, the choice is between 1 and 4. If it is 1 and 5, let us say if it is 1 and 5, if it is S, we shall, if the choice is between 1 and 5, then we must know, we will know that the user is either interested in the, in one of these operations. If it is no, it is if user, let us say E type 7, then we must give give him an error message that is as wrong input so if the choice is between 1 and 5 let us say if the choice is 1 if the choice is 1 what we have to do if the choice is 1 then we'll ask the user to enter two numbers n1 and n2 and we perform addition of this and we'll put it in a variable n1 plus n2 then we print this result and get back to the main menu. If it is not 1, then we'll check for other numbers 2, 3, 4, and 5. If it is 5, then again we go back to the main menu. All the all these I've not written the details. I hope it is fine. You can manage with this and all this will will be similar to this block only 
So depending on this flowchart, we'll try to write the program in Python. So I am using PyCharm to write the program. So we'll start writing the program. So first, we need to enter. First, we need to give the message. Give give this option. The option of this. This we need to give for the user. So what I have to do is, I'll write the display name, the display table. One is for addition, ADDI on addition. Then all the other four things I just do, copy and paste. The second addition, the second the second one is subtraction the third one is multiplication the third option is multiplication the fourth one is division the final one is exit now we have to ask the user to enter his choice so let us take as choice choice is equal to i'm taking it as an input need to use input instruction and ask the user to enter his or our choice enter the enter your choice next next we have to come whether the choice is between 1 and 5 if the choice if the choice is greater than or equal to 1 and so it must be between 1 and 4 and choice is less than or equal to 4 if it is between these two, between these two numbers, 1 and 4, then it is sure that the user is really interested in doing some calculations. So now, if it is between 1 and 4, then we must ask the user to enter two numbers. So we shall ask the user to enter two numbers. So now let us store those two numbers in two variables, num1 and num2 int let us store them in num1 and num2 if if the choice is 1 then we need to do addition we shall put the sum in one variable called result re, sorry re, res then we shall print print the sum and the sum is in the variable res so we shall keep it in res so this has to be repeated if the choice is 2 the same thing has to repeat so let me copy and paste So if the choice is 2, then we need to do subtraction. And if the choice is 3, we need to do multiplication. And if the choice is 4, we need to divide. We need to divide if the choice is 4. So RES will become num1 by num2. And finally, if the choice is 5, if the choice is 5, we need to exit. Else, if the number is not between 1 and 5, we need to 
put an error, error message like enter an appropriate number or the entered number is a wrong input and that's it now let us try to run this program choice is one choice is two choice is three choice is four and choice is five now it must run must show no error now you can see here clearly it is asking for us to enter our choice i am interested in doing multiplication so i'll put three and enter it ask it, it is asking me to enter two numbers i'll put five and three the result you can see is 15 here the result is 15 and it is coming back to the main menu now i'll put some other number say it is the number which is not between 1 and 5 let us put 8 and it is showing me wrong input or it is going back to the main menu and this is one of the very simplest thing reading a calculator and thank you so much when we i'll come back with some other application in the coming coming tutorial thank you